Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the snipping tool that comes for free with the Windows 10 operating system. Now the first thing we're going to do is create a few shortcuts for the snipping tool. So we're going to navigate to the bottom here to our search box and we're going to type in the word snip. Go over to the right hand side here and you'll have two options. The first option is to pin to start. The second option is to pin to taskbar. Let's pin to the taskbar first because that is the most visual pin. Left click on it. And there you go. If you look to the bottom here, you can see that it has been pinned to the taskbar. Okay, now let's pin to start. Left click on pin to start and you'll have pinned it to the start menu. I'm just gonna show you what that looks like now. I'm gonna click on my desktop and then I'm going to left click on start on the bottom right hand side here. And there you go, it has been pinned to start. Let's left click back on our desktop now. Now we're going to create a desktop shortcut. So what you want to do is you want to go back to your text box here, left click and type snip again. You'll then want to go over to the right hand side again and you want to go open file location. This will open up a folder called Windows Accessories with various shortcuts to various programs. The one we want is the snipping tool. Let me maximize this window real quick. Okay, so there we have it, the snipping tool. What you want to do is you want to copy this shortcut and then you want to minimize this window and you want to paste the shortcut on your desktop. And there we go. Now we have the snipping tool on our desktop. Now let's go over the features of the snipping tool. Let's open it by double clicking on it. Now that it's open, I'm going to take you through. So let's do the most basic of snips. This snip is going to be called a rectangular snip. So what you want to do is you want to click this arrow here and you want to select rectangular. Mine has already been selected, but I'm going to click it again just for the sake of this video. Now a transparent white screen will appear and you'll be able to take your snip. So let's start by taking one. So what you want to do to take your first snip is you want to left click with your mouse, you want to hold it, and then you want to drag to the desired length of your snip. So if you want that big of a snip, you simply let go of the mouse. Now for me, I want to take a snip of my shortcuts. So I'm comfortable with this size of a snip. Actually, let's go a bit smaller. Yeah, perfect. For me, that's satisfying. Let's let go of the left click. And there we go. We've taken our rectangular snip. What you want to do now is you want to save it. So click the floppy disk icon, click save. Choose a destination folder. Now I'm saving all my snips in a folder called snips that I've pre-made prior to making this video. As you can see, it's on my desktop here. It's called snips. I'm gonna call this capture, capture one. Hit save to save your first capture. Okay, now I'll show you a second mode of the snipping tool. Let's go back to mode here and click this arrow. Let's choose freeform snip. Now that you're on the freeform mode, you can see the icon has changed. Then you simply click new. Okay, the transparent white box has appeared again, notifying us that we are able to take our snip. So let's take another snip. This time, I want to take a snip of the shortcut called WordPad. So let's do that. So what you want to do is you want to left click again, and then you want to draw the area you want to snip as best you can. And then you want to loop it back to where you originally started. You want to let go of the left click now. And there you are, we've taken our freeform snip. Let's save it. Let's call it capture two. Okay, let's move on to another mode here. Click the arrow again, select window snip. And then you wanna hit new again. Now the window snip is very simple. It will take a snip of whatever window you have open. In this case, I have my desktop window open, hence the red rectangular outline on my desktop. All you need to do is simply left click on the area you want to snip. So I'm just gonna left click on my desktop. And there we go. We have a windowed snip of our desktop. Let's save this and call it capture three. With the windowed mode being the final snip that you can perform using the snipping tool, I'll show you the features of the snipping tool. So you have the option of selecting a delay the floppy disk icon is to save a snip. The copy button is to copy your snip without having to save it. So for example, let's left click on this. Now I'll open up my browser and I'll paste it into an email. So I'm just gonna control V or you can right click and paste. Let's right click and paste for this video. 
now your SNP is being uploaded. And just like that, in almost an instant, you have snipped your window and you have pasted it into an email. So it's very handy for work-related activities. So I'll just show you the full window snip here. Okay, now that I've shown you that, I'm just gonna minimize my window real quick. Let's do a similar action with the copy button here. Let's click copy one more time and I'll just show you how you can paste it into a document. Let's minimize our snipping tool and let's open up WordPad. Now you can use this function also in the Microsoft Office suite, but I'm just using WordPad for the sake of this video. So you can right click and you can paste. Snipping it into a document is as easy as snipping it into an email. Now that I've shown you that, I'm just going to minimize this. And I'm just gonna show you some more extra features of the snipping tool. So you also have the pen tool. I'm just gonna draw a swirl real quick. So if you click this arrow here, you have the option of changing it to a red pen, a black pen, or a custom color. You also have the option of customizing the thickness. So let me show you the highlighter tool now. Let's highlight the recycling bin. It's a great tool for visual effects, as you can see for highlighting it for work-related activities or freelance activities. So let's click the eraser tool now and we'll erase the swirl. You also have the option of exporting your snip to use it with Paint 3D. Let's cl left click on it and take you to Paint 3D. So Paint 3D gives you just extra features that you can use to spice up your image. I'm just gonna write the word hi real quick. So let's select a tool. I'm gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna select the color. Actually, let's select the color red because it will stand out more. And let's change the thickness to 30. And I'm gonna simply draw the word hi. Again, great customization features with Paint 3D. Let's crop this image real quick. Click crop. And then click done. Click menu. And click save. Let's call this capture three edited. Capture three edited and let's click save and click no thanks unless you want to rate it in the app store let's exit out of paint 3d by clicking the x button and i believe i skipped one tool here and that is the email tool so with the email tool you have the ability to email a recipient directly instead of opening up your browser and pasting it in. So perhaps you have Outlook installed on your desktop or maybe you have some other email program, then you can utilize this feature. For me on this computer, I don't have that, but I'm happy just copying the snip and paste it into my email. All right, guys, I'm just gonna minimize this real quick and just show you the snips. So these are the four snips that we've created together. So as you can see, there's a snip of our shortcuts a snip of the WordPad, a window snip edited with Paint 3D, and our vanilla window snip. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a like, comment below, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye now.